Hello and welcome to Mellow Labs. On today's episode, we're taking a look at DF Robot's new face and gesture recognition sensor that uses Edge AI and works completely offline. So I'll show you what it can and can't do and how you can use it with a Raspberry Pi Pico, an Arduino, and a little bit of Home Assistant right after this message from today's sponsor. Today's episode is brought to you by JLC PCB. JLC PCB offers easy, affordable and reliable PCB and PCBA services. Simply upload your Gerber files to jlcpcb.com and get an instant quote. One to eight layer PCBs start from just $2. And right now there's a special deal for six layer PCBs where you can get a $30 coupon, which brings down the price of the six layer PCBs to just $5. And they'll even include an ENIG finish and no engineering fee for varying pad and if you're worried about quality just don't. JLC PCB owns five state-of-the-art factories with quality control at every step and if you need your boards right away JLC PCB offers a lightning fast 24-hour turnaround time. So sign up with the link in my description to get $70 in new user coupons and thank you again to JLC PCB for sponsoring this episode. Let's begin with the basics. It runs on 3.3 to 5 volts and draws about 100 milliamps. It communicates over I squared C and UART and there's a little switch at the back here that lets you flick between the two. The little built-in camera at the front there has an 85 degree field of view and it has a working range of 50 centimeters all the way up to 3 meters. Now let's start playing around with it. I'm going to connect it to my lab bench power supply just to see what the module actually does without being connected to any kind of microcontroller. And apparently this module runs Edge AI, which is not something I was familiar with, but apparently it's just a fancy way of saying that it runs AI locally because it's on the edge of the network. So it doesn't actually require any kind of internet connection. Now this is great if you're privacy focused because everything is done locally and also even though there is a camera at the front of this, there is absolutely no way of getting any kind of video output out of it. So the module is currently running and as you can see it's very excited to see my hands. Uh, there's a little white LED underneath there and it's labeled head and shoulder detection light which means that when I stand here it's actually detecting my head and my shoulders. So if I step slightly out of frame it should turn off. I'm hiding behind the phone here and if I step back in it should detect me. And I'm actually noticing that it seems to, it takes it quite a while for it to stop detecting me and it detects me very quickly. So I guess that's good. Now for the hands, it seems to be very excited when it sees hands. Now I will say I am a little bit close to this camera than it would probably like, but whenever my hands are in the shot, it's constantly trying to get a gesture. So it comes pre-programmed with five gestures and I don't think there's a way of adding any more because it's pretty locked down. So we have the thumbs up, we have the uh, okay, we have a, a high five, we've got the peace, and we've got the uh, the call me or whatever that one's called. And those all work pretty well, like it's very responsive. You can kind of screw around with it by just doing that because it gets very confused. And the way this works in the back end is it gives everything that it detects a, a confidence score between zero to 100 and anything above 60 counts as a trigger, which is probably why it's so happy when I do this. It's like I'm tickling it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can actually adjust this. There's an Arduino script that lets you adjust the thresholds, but we'll go through that later on. And I will mention, if I hide my face from the camera here and wait for it to stop detecting me, it will no longer recognize gestures. So in order for it to actually recognize gestures, you have to be right in front of the camera and then it starts recognizing them. So now let's plug it into a Raspberry Pi Pico and see what we get on the back end. Connecting this module to the Raspberry Pi Pico is actually super easy. So let's start with the power. We want to connect it to ground and 3.3 volts, which is right there. And now for communications, we want to use UART. So we need to flip the switch on there. And now we're going to take the RX pin, which is the blue pin right there and connect that into GPIO zero. And then the green one can go into GPIO one. And now we're ready to plug it in. 
Unfortunately, there is a small problem trying to use this module with a Raspberry Pi Pico, and it's the fact that DF Robot doesn't actually provide a library that works with MicroPython. So I had to make one myself. <coughs> I got AI to do it for me, but it works pretty well. So the first thing we had to do is upload this script and save it onto the Pico. This is the actual library file. And then we can run this script, which does all of the actual printing. And over here, we can set what pins we're using and also the thresholds for what counts as detected. So when I run this script, I can now go in front of the sensor and what we're getting is the XY coordinates of where the face is in the frame. Now this is something I haven't mentioned, but you could actually use this to like do some facial tracking. So if you have like a blower fan on your desk, you can track your face with this so that it's always pointing at you. That would be a pretty cool project, I think. Uh, we also get the score for how confident it is that there is a face. Now, the closer you get, the lower the confidence gets, but the further you get, it seems to be pretty confident about it. And we also get the gestures. So we can do that one and that one and that one and they all come detected. So it's from one to five. So I've programmed a couple of phrases in here as well. So if I hold the thumbs up for two seconds, it's gonna tell you that you should like the video. And if I hold up this one, it should tell you that you need to subscribe to the channel. Now, don't worry, I will post all of the code over on my GitHub. So I'll leave a link to it down below. And now let's try the Arduino. Connecting this module to an Arduino is even easier. This is an Arduino Leonardo also provided to me by DF Robot. And the only difference is that I had to add some jumper wires to the cable that converts it from being a female connector to being a male connector that I can actually plug into the board. And I say it's even easier because I can actually properly see the pins right here. It's very difficult to see on the Pico sometimes. So there is my 3.3 volts there is my ground. And now for the communication, I'm going to switch it to I squared C. And over here, I'm going to grab the data pin, which is green and plug that into SDA over here. And then I'm going to take the blue pin, which is the clock pin, and I'm going to plug it into the SCL. And that is all connected. So let's plug it into the computer. Setting this up with Arduino is actually a lot easier, mostly because DF Robot actually provides you with a library for the module, which I've got it installed now. I can go over to examples and scroll down to the library and I can choose between I squared C or UART. I'm using I squared C. And now we have configure gesture and detect gesture. Now I thought, I did say this earlier, I thought that this script lets you adjust the threshold for what it counts as a detected gesture. Unfortunately, that is not what that script does. Uh, what this script lets you do is actually disable some of the gestures. So if you only wanna use thumbs up or the peace emoji, you can disable all the other ones. Uh, you can edit the thresholds within the actual main detection script. So let's open that up. And now I can select my Arduino and upload the script. And now that it's uploaded, I can open the serial monitor and you can see those are the thresholds. And now if I step in front of it, we're getting the exact same readings we did in the MicroPython script. So it's detecting my face, it's detecting where in the frame my face is. So I can move around a little bit and we can also do all of the gestures. So I can do the thumbs up, I can do the peace, I can do the okay, I can do well, whatever that one was and I can do the palm and that all works exactly the same. I've got nothing else to add about this one. It just works out of the box. So you can go ahead and edit whatever you want to do with this script. So now I'm going to try to get this to work with Home Assistant and see if I can get it to trigger some automations. I haven't tried this yet, so we'll see if I can actually manage it. Okay, so I've actually managed to get this to work. So I'm using UART uh, to the ESP32 and then on it, I'm running ESP Home with the Modbus controller to actually interpret the data. And what that gives me inside of Home Assistant is all the same data that we had on the previous scripts. So we've got face count, face score, where the face is, gesture score and gesture type. Oh, also I forgot to mention that this sensor can actually detect up to 10 faces. Uh, it's something I completely forgot about because I don't have 10 people to test it with. So so, so then I took all those inputs and I made two automations here. So what I can do now is step in front of the sensor and it will turn on the Mellow Labs logo. And if I hold up the peace sign, it should turn on my Patreon plaques. By the way, if you'd like to support the channel and get your name on my plaque board of Patreon supporters, uh, 
there's a link down below. Please consider supporting me. And if I hold up the peace sign again, that should turn it off. And if I step out of frame, it should turn off the logo. And that works pretty well. And again, don't worry, I will leave this code in the GitHub repository so that you can play around with it yourself. And I guess with that, thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, support me on Patreon if you can, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.